We begin this morning with the questions over what sparked a deadly shooting at a Florida Navy base on Friday morning. Four people, including the gunmen, were killed and eight others were injured during the attack at a naval air station in Pensacola. CBS News has learned the gunman was Mohammed Saeed Al Shamrani, and he was a Saudi Arabian national and a pilot in training for the Saudi Air Force. He had been training in the United States since 2017. The FBI is investigating Al Shamrani's social media posts and whether he acted alone. But investigators have not said what his possible motive might have been. This morning, we're learning more about one of the victims. David Begno is in Pensacola. David, good morning. Good morning. You know, the military usually waits about 24 hours to notify the next of kin in a situation like this where someone has died. But we were able to overnight confirm the identity of one of the victims. CBS News has learned that Joshua Caleb Watson was one of the three people killed by Mohammed Saeed Al Shamrani on Friday. The 23 year old Watson graduated this year from the Naval Academy. He was from Alabama. And as a student, he made the dean's list. He was also captain of the rifle team. In a Facebook post, his brother said that Watson's final act saved countless lives, writing, after being shot multiple times, he made it outside, and he told the first response team where the shooter was, and those details were invaluable. He died a hero. Uh -huh. This sprawling naval base was locked down after Al Shamrani stormed a classroom and opened fire with a handgun. Within minutes, authorities charged into the building. Two Escambia County Sheriff's deputies shot and killed Al Shamrani, but were wounded in the process. Both deputies are expected to survive. They ran to the fight, not from the fight. And even though they knew there was an active shooter, and again, the chances of putting your life in danger are great, guess where they went? They went inside. This morning, the FBI is trying to determine how a foreign national obtained a handgun, which is prohibited by law, and brought it onto the base. According to the Middle East Media Research Institute, someone matching Al Shimrani's identity had an extensive online footprint. In a Twitter post, the writer says, Oh, American people, I hate you because every day you supporting funding and committing crimes not only against Muslims, but also humanity. As of this morning, federal officials are not saying what happened here was an act of terror. We are not prepared at this hour to confirm what may have motivated the shooter to commit this horrific act today. Investigators are looking for any signs of radicalization going back to Al Shamrani's upbringing in Saudi Arabia. King Salman of Saudi Arabia called President Trump after the shooting. The king said that the Saudi people are greatly angered by the barbaric actions of the shooter and that this person in no way, shape, or form represents the feelings of the Saudi people who love the American people. Al Shamrani was one of a few hundred foreign nationals who trained here at the Naval Air Station. Last night, the Defense Secretary, Mark Esper, said that he's going to take a look at the vetting procedures that go into accepting foreign nationals to be able to train here. You know, the FBI called a news conference last night at about 8 o'clock. We weren't sure if we were going to get some important details. Uh, we really didn't at all. You got the sense that this is a very fluid situation. They said a lot of resources are being flown in. Uh, Jeff, I would expect that later today, based on what we were told last night, we should find out the identity of the other two victims killed. All right, David, thank you very much.